Dragon Sentinels of the Multiverse, and yes, I kind of caved. Once I saw this one, I couldn't really resist, so we are jumping significantly out of order, but we gotta catch them all. It's just how this works. So we have Captain Cosmic Unity, Legacy, and Hoppa against Voss. And here's your context for this mission. I wanted to be the very best, like no one ever was. I traveled across the land, searching far and wide, trying to teach them to understand the power that's inside. I know it is my destiny, and all my best friends in this world we must defend. Our courage will pull us through to battle, and may we catch them all. Cower before the might of the Thorathian conquering fleet. Your evil doing days are numbered, no matter how dangerous you are. Have at them, allies. So, yeah. This is a fixed scenario because if the name didn't make it clear enough, <laughs> your objective is to stack up savage mana and then nuke Voss into the ground. Now, what's important to note about this is whenever Haka destroys a target, not a villain card or anything like that, just a target, so you may be wondering, who can put out a lot of targets that's very good for us? One, two. So he'll play four minions, because that's how many there of us there are. And now the trick to this is you do need to kill his AoE guys so that Unity's stuff doesn't get annihilated right off the bat. We'll have Legacy take a shot. So the first time a Construct is destroyed, he can deal damage. We want this out first. Cosmic Crest isn't going to be too helpful here because we are destroying a lot of our stuff. Eh, you know what? We'll play Harsh Offense. So I can use this to just insta-give Tamar. The only thing that does suck is what I'm throwing away. We're going to do a more permanent kill on him later on, in case you're wondering. To the top of your deck. Now I don't really want to sacrifice his card just yet, so I'm going to discard... Robot Reclamation to bring out Swiftbot. I'm hoping that'll give me two cards here. Flash Forge. Here with the highest HP, lowest HP, highest HP. So we'll play Inspiring Presence. This will inspire everyone to deal more damage, and because we don't deal enough damage in the first place, let's galvanize. So, savage mana. And this is going to be attacking my bots. This guy is just more annoying, so we're going to go after him. Now, yes I do. And there's the Taiha, so I can just start fragging his guys in big numbers. Ancient Library. This is one of those ones you have to watch out for. I don't remember Wells in the environment here. Right now, no. I'm going to play this so Unity has something to destroy. Mm, no, I'd rather not use that. <laughs> 
I think um, playing that one card may have screwed up my hand here, but we'll see. So Flash Forge, I can search for golems, but that's not really needed. So how does Champion Bot work? charge here just to keep everyone topped off. It says each hero target, so I think that means I can heal my guys. At the end of the villain turn. So we'll play Taiha. Yep. And then we'll add him to our collection. Khan's Bunker. So the environment wants to be played, and that's what I'm gathering from this so far. So my constructs are immune to energy damage. I guess not destroying that Cosmic Crest will work to my advantage. I can pretty much ignore this thing if I want. So I'll play the Vitality Conduit. It doesn't really matter where I play this, so we'll just give this to Haka. I'm gonna put this in play. We're gonna give it to Haka. And yes, I know this isn't doing any damage. That is intentional, don't worry. Platform bot. Mm, no, we're not doing that. So I'm going to discard that actually. problem is, if I bring out Platform Bot, this will start to attack it because it goes for the lowest HP. So I'm going to bring out Champion Bot. We got Cryo Bot and Platform Bot. I'll play Surge of Strength and... He flips by having guys in the trash, right? There are no minions in play. So I'm actually just gonna punch him for the heal. Danger sense is going to be very helpful. I'm going to play Dominion so I can start drawing some cards here.
not going to deal damage to either of them. We got Punish the Weak so we can pick up even more guys. At this point... Nah, I'll let it go. Abominable Snowman. So I'm about to lose a construct somewhere. Oh, it attacks at the start of the turn. Damn, I was hoping that would prompt Haka to attack. So, yeah. Is they have to be the ones in play, so I don't really want to get rid of the ones I already have out. Damn it. Another destructive response. Kinda hoping I get a pile on soon. Raptorbot. So I'm gonna shoot this even though I don't want to kill it, since that's gonna give me more cards to collect. <laughs> Danger sense. So yeah, the inspiring presence means he's gonna deal four damage. That will die, that will die. That will cause him to flip though, so actually. I want to leave that Ion Lancer alone so he doesn't flip. Legacy Ring. So this will only amplify my damage if I attack this. I don't think there's anything I want to play at the moment. Let's catch the Abominable Snowman. Dominion. And I think I'm just going to hit him. So yeah, he's gonna flip. No, we 
have enough stuff that we need to pick off as is. So I don't know how this is going to interact with Haka. We'll see. Wounding buffer. Like, I don't know why the marker here is... Oh, they can attack you? No, they can't. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I can say. So we'll s skip. We're going to get rid of the workbench to bring out Cryopot. Now I could have Haka start attacking her bots. It's just I don't think there's much of a point at the moment. So we'll play the Legacy Ring. And we'll galvanize. me a card. There's that. Another tie, huh? We caught a rat beast. And a chupacabra. Hold on, I can only do that once per turn? Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. Wasn't paying attention so I didn't see what killed it. So, you know what, let's scrap that. Deathworm, at the start of the turn. I do. So we need to give this to Haka. I don't see a theme here yet. We're going to heal this up so that we can keep going. Let's 
scrap metal? We're going to play this. There's our pylon, which won't help at the moment. Stealth bot can. We want to weaken this. We want is that boss. So, yeah, I'm having second thoughts about bringing this out because it's going to. I kind of want the constructs to continue taking abuse. No, I'm not good. So I want to make sure that the finishing blow is with savage mana. It's just I'm going to continue weakening boss until we hit that point. Okay, it's the autonomous blade that was doing it. Let's draw... Vitality Surge. Yes. Now I can Elbow Smash. Savage mana coming in. Not well enough. So, yeah, we'll do this. Since he's already flipped, there's no harm. And we'll use Haka Crush. Rat Beast. Lexi, of course. Oh, wait. Bound guard, that's an easy pickup. Force deployment, that's gonna give me another chance at um, all the stuff that he had originally. And, hmm. Eh, it doesn't matter. Siphon. Yes. Another cosmic weapon. New Jersey Devil. I'm gonna play this on Captain Cosmic. And we need to heal his constructs. Specifically the one. I just noticed these are not limited. Most our allies. 
energy bracer can be helpful. Ooh, I can use Haka of Battle. <laughs> So we need to charge up Savage Man a little bit more, and then we can see how big of a nuke we can do. And I just noticed this would have healed my construct, so I need to use Captain Cosmic's turn the way I did. So we'll start things off with the tie, huh? There's the melee I was fishing for. Timoko! And crud, I just sent another card to the environment. Trash, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Worst come to worst, those can get out. So I'm going to use the Tomoko right now. And to vent my frustration, there we go. Since I'm not paying the utmost attention, that autonomous blade is coming back to bite me. This time I actually do have to use the healing because I took extra damage due to Tamar. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been worthwhile. Hmm. Actually, in retrospect, I should have done that. show you why in a moment. So, hasty augmentation. One hero may use a power now. If it deals damage, increase the power. So had I gotten another environment target out, Haka could have wrapped this up. So even though this thing's at full health, it still goes down. Sign this into Voss. Next shot is going into the first lieutenant. And then if I wanted to, I could play the other one. It's just I'm not at the moment. I'm wondering if I actually want to put B-Bot in play. So we're going to use her power to destroy the scrap metal. And now comes Bebot. In case you're wondering, Bebot is going to die. It's just going to use it to pick off the unforgiving wasteland. And yes, I do. Another snowman. So let's punch that thing in the jaw. Do I actually have anything damaged? Yeah, 
yes I do. Yes, I do. So now we can get rid of Haka Restoration. Grabbing the Skunk Ape. There's Rampage. Next one we're going to pick up the snowman. I actually think I'm far enough along now to just finish him off. So in case you're wondering about Rampage, each non-hero target takes 5 melee damage, each hero target takes 2. You can use this to clean up quite a few bots and constructs, and then turn around and use savage mana. The problem with doing that is you have to use it the turn before if you want to use Haka of Battle, so, yeah. There's Haka of Battle, there's another Savage Mana. Chupacabra. Beba, no! Ah! I thought I could use its ability before it was destroyed, but oh well. Here with the most ongoing cards. The Conqueror has arrived! Actually, I think I have to end it this turn. Otherwise, turret bot's gonna end things for me. So, we we'll use Taiha here.
<laughs> I have one dot left. And there it is. You know what? Let's bring out the plat. Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm going to sacrifice a Haka of battle. We are going to use May right offset the card I just discarded so we can pop this. Yeah, had I brought out those platform bots, that would have been the end right then and there. We wouldn't have been able to cash out. So, Haka of battle. I find most disappointing still is I could have actually gotten Savage Mana bigger. Could have probably been a uh, 30 uh, 30 cards under there if I had been paying a little bit more attention to that Autonomous Blader and I even played the damn thing. But, oh well. 25 damage. Look at this trash fill up. <laughs> and since I'm finally destroying all those environment cards, now they're. Ooh, actually, this won't matter somehow. So the environment is finally getting their cards back. But as I was trying to say, it could have been more. It's just I messed up. 79! I don't remember what his max HP is, but this came kind of close to being able to one-shot him. So there you go, the first mint that I went to get, and unfortunately I doubt him. Unless there's another interesting one like this, I'm probably going to pass on continuing the mint hunt. So, collection. Like, just to put out a little disclaimer, if you're not familiar with this one, there's a 0.3% chance of success. That's why it's called Ridiculous Challenge, it's declared impossible. You can do this, it's just... Your odds of doing this are 3 in 1,000. That's why I wasn't really interested in this one, and some of the other ones I'll take a brief look at. Like, Gong Show seemed kind of interesting, but I wasn't familiar with Santa guys at the time, so I didn't really want to bother. Unless there's another interesting one shot, like I said, we're just going to go back to trying to catch up all the lost ground. So, Voss, he has 90 HP, so yeah, he would have survived with 11 had I left him at full health. But still, you got to see Savage Man and it's all its glory, and in case you're wondering how to get the Haka Smash achievement, that's one way to do it. Just stack up Savage Mana, uh, uh, pop Haka Battle, and there you go. Actually, yeah, that did play. I was trying to remember the numbers real quick, and yeah, I did check out. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.